Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick and this is Sarah and with our two little dogs we're usually travelling around Europe in our 32 year old camper van. After a much needed break at our casita in Andalusia we're ready for the next adventure. Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. Oh, thank you. Good morning. And I will just apologize for the strimmer or the lawnmower noise in the background. We can hardly tell him to go and stop doing it, can we? Strim somewhere else. <laughs> go and strim somewhere else, please. We're trying to vlog. So guys, we are in Soto Grande Puerto on the coast. We were hoping to catch a glimpse of some dolphins this morning and get, get the set board out. But uh, yeah, no dolphins and the sea's a bit choppy. Um, yeah, you do get quite a few dolphins in this bay around this area this time of year, but maybe tomorrow morning instead. So yeah, we arrived down here yesterday afternoon. We tried to park in our usual spot, the other end of the beach, right off the beach in a big car park. Spent many a night there, usually quite a few vans, um, but now they've got like a two meter height barrier. So that's a no go. So we found this spot and it's not bad actually. It's probably nicer because you're literally a few meters away from the beach. You've got a beautiful view along the beach to Torre Guadiara, which is the next sort of little village town, whatever. Um, and yeah, and you're just on the edge of the port. So you've got these lovely palm trees and colorful buildings behind us. You can do a nice little walk um, into the port to see all the expensive yachts. It's all right for small vans because it's like parking bays. There's no height restrictions and there's no um, prohibited signs. And we slept all right down here. Don't know if you're actually allowed to sleep down here. If there ain't a sign, then they can't give you a fine. Yes. So yeah guys, this is our first little trip out in the van since we got the brakes sorted and so far so good. We haven't driven that far, but they're not getting stuck on. We haven't come to the seaside. Seaside? For fun and games. <laughs> Today we've got an appointment at the hospital. Nick's got an appointment at the mm. hospital that we've been waiting for, hence the reason we're kind of still in the local area. So this week, guys, we've had a couple of little incidents. Dizzy has got like a really bad scratch on his nose because he had a little scrap with another dog and he didn't come off too good. And it's actually, it was quite bad, like it was bleeding and stuff. It's kind of healing a bit now. And the other incident was Nick went into battle with another insect, didn't you? I'm not good with insects, am I? Last week I had that nasty rash from some bite down the, the river. This week, an avispa got me wasp wasp thing i don't know whether you can see that balloon hand look at that happened yesterday and the bite is actually there and then it's slowly just spread across here just been down to our medical center and then within like five minutes ten minutes i've seen a nurse had a steroid injection up me bum well not up it on it above it <laughs> So that's a bit numb now, but um, hopefully this should be better in a few days. Advice, if you're in Spain, don't go to the chemist because the chemist will just try and sell you an overpriced cream or something. Always a cream, they just say, oh, I have this. You say, should I go to the medical service centre? Probably. 
but you can have this cream if you want and pay lots of money for that. Anyway, enough rambling. It must be the steroid injection and the venom running through my bloodstream. I think I better make you some breakfast. <laughs> yeah, me and insects don't get on, do we? That's two in the last two weeks allergic reactions. I've only been stung by a bee or wasp like three or four times and every time it like swells up for like two, three days that lasted. Balloon hand and then it went down and it's all right and um, it's all good. These things happen in threes though. Now the hospital appointment. <laughs> A whole coffee, like my whole cup of coffee is just gone on the floor. Luckily we had a big rug down. To soak up most carpet. of it. So that means washing now. And we're going to be late for the hospital appointment if we don't go now. Small van problems. It's teething problems, that's all that is. Clumsiness and teething problems. We'll soon get back into it, won't we? So we managed to find a nice spot in the shade. The hospital car park is really small, brand new, well pretty new hospital, really nice. But the car park is tiny, so we've just parked on a little dusty dirt road. In the bushes? In the middle of a bush. <laughs> At least we've got shade now, so I can come with you, so the doggies will be alright in the van. Guys, that was a bit of an anti-climax. Total anti-climax. Waited two and a half, three months to get this appointment and see the specialist. Go and see him and it looks like we were sent to the wrong specialist. <laughs> After getting lost in the hospital for like half an hour and almost missing the wrong appointment. This hospital's huge. Which way, Blocky? Downstairs, he said. Not there, not. We had a look at Nick, check Nick over and there's no, you know, there's nothing wrong. He does actually have to see another specialist if, if he wants to have any sort of operation. Um, he said, yeah, yeah, nothing serious. And they, well, I haven't got an appointment for the other specialist. I've got to wait up to maybe six months to, to get, get an appointment. appointment, to get a phone call for an appointment. So um, just the medical system, isn't it? It's probably the same everywhere in the world. The good news is we can just go off and do whatever we want now. You don't have to like, you know, come back for another around. appointment yeah, in the next yeah. month or something or two months. So we can now sort of go off and um, um, traveling. Yeah. It's all right. Oh, that is definitely what I needed. Oh, it's amazing what a little dip in the sea can do. Woo! Feeling better. That proper sorts you out, doesn't it? Charlie is okay, by the way. He is all right. He could walk along this beach, but the sand is really hot. Up this coast, it's like grey sand. It's not like the white sand that the Costa del does and Tarifa and that. It's a little bit grey so it gets really hot on your feet so I'm just carrying him flies out so good sarongs forgot about that in the summer little tip for you wet the sarong and um and then put it in front of the doorway keeps the van really cool it's not that hot yet so we don't need to wet it but it's it's quite good adds a bit of privacy and sets a nice positive vibe <laughs> 
So guys, we get asked a lot of questions on this channel. Questions like, how old are you? <laughs> Which we have actually said before, but we're not saying now. Not saying again. <laughs> when are you going to get a new van? That, that, oh, that's gosh, getting that boring up. now. That is getting boring. And we not... <laughs> definitely explained the reasons for getting a new van or not getting a new van, mm. I think, enough anyways. But one question we have been asked loads over the last couple of months is how is Charlie doing? So we're just going to take a moment to talk about our little Charlie bear now if you've been following along you'll know that he had a bit of a wobble he had a seizure in january he has been suffering from occasional seizures since he was about one and a half two mm. so we thought we would just let you guys know how he's doing or how he's been doing since january and since we actually got him on cbd oil charlie generally has a seizure every couple of months but since january since he's been on the cbd oil he hasn't had one four months clear four so months clear. fingers crossed and thank you so much to a lot of you recommended putting him on cbd oil and have said they had such great benefits for, for your pets um and yourselves and yourselves yeah because yeah. it's not just for dogs it, it's, it deals with so many different ailments joint pain and arthritis in particularly in older people should we say um and then anxiety mood swings adhd epilepsy. like all sorts of epilepsy there's yeah. so many different benefits so many benefits um but yeah the one thing is we were dubious about is which company do you go with who who do you trust to what dosage all to that? give your dog what dosage you should take for ver various mm. um health issues and our friends sally and lawrence actually recommended uh bristol cbd so after doing a bit of research online we realized whole plant cbd is the best type for humans and pets um, it's like the most natural so the less processed and it's got all of the really good the high spec the the large spectrum of the cannabinoids i think that's the right word um which is like the the healthy chemical in the hemp plant bristol cbd have a huge range of whole plant cbd oils ranging from three percent up to thirty percent now charlie we've got on the lowest dose of three percent humans are generally recommended to take a slightly stronger one yeah and what's good about bristol cbd they've got a brilliant website with loads of information mm. and also you can give them a call regarding any questions you have what dosage you should be on what dosage your pet should be on and they're really really happy to help and uh, get you on your cbd oil journey, journey. <laughs> <laughs> so the founders are a couple who are both therapists they've traveled the world extensively searching for natural remedies and what's great about bristol cbd is a small part of the profit goes to help support tree plantation and education in charities in India and Africa if you don't trust us trust these faces don't know why you wouldn't why but would check you? out Google and trust pilot five stars across the board we have bagged you guys a special discount if you want to try uh, CBD oil for yourself or your pet 20% discount use explorers code at checkout we'll leave the link in the description of their brilliant website any questions any information you need give them a call and Yes, we're very happy. Thank you, Bristol CBD, for saving our little Charlie Bear. No. Dizzy just puked. Come here. Oh, Dizzy. Don't. And now he's trying to eat it. No, no, no. Charlie, not you either. I think it's because he just ate a couple of treats really, really quickly. Don't lick me now. Like way too quickly, and he's just vomited it back up. He seems all right, doesn't he? He seems fine. He wants to eat it. <laughs> Did you see the size of that bug? No, I didn't film it in time. They don't mess about here, the bugs, do they? literally like not that big, and the window so uh, the window of the van was open and it just went to fly in the van then dizzy you've just been put in the van tried to bite the bug as it was coming in but at least charlie's enjoying himself <laughs> while everyone else is getting stressed and being sick little charlie bear is very relaxed hey how many drops has mummy given you today? I think I need some. So guys, it's got to that time of the day. Well, I'm getting hangry. <laughs> <laughs> so there's no um, shops or anything like that in this area. And we both really, really, really fancy. Guess what? That's giving you a bit of time to guess. Cheers. Cheers. 
See that? And you see what Dizzy is wearing as a lead and Charlie is wearing a matching blue one. They're wearing bungee cords. Well, no, I think we had them at the last spot. Haven't been on a lead since, have they? Well, I don't know, but how can you lose both of their dog leads? They're not in the van. I've searched everywhere. So they must have fallen out of the van at the last spot. This is just doesn't even make... Oh! That just went right in my... Yeah, we're just going to sit here and drink and eat for the rest of the day, I think, guys. Check out what's just arrived on the table. Oh, I love it. This is my favourite. Fried anchovies, calamaris, John Dory, red mullet, little squids and Cassandra adobo, which is marinated dogfish. Dizzy's falling asleep after his sardines. I'm falling asleep too. <laughs> Thank you very much and see you all next week. <laughs> Looking a bit stormy, isn't it? It's starting to look a bit stormy now, so we've rushed back here because heavy rains, thunderstorms are forecast for yesterday, actually. Yesterday and today, so far, we've had about four drops of rain. We really want to have some rain just to like soak the countryside, you know, one last time before the heat of the summer. It is starting to look a bit stormy. Whether we get any rain or not, I don't know. Yeah, we genuinely got really excited when it was forecast rain and when it started to spit a little bit, yes, they were like, yes, come on, and then not much, nothing. no, nothing really. Yeah, we had to rush back to, to cover over some of our things because we weren't prepared for rain, obviously. It hasn't rained since we've been back. It hasn't, we haven't had any rain whatsoever. Any rain whatsoever, apart from the four or five drops, maybe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, hopefully it is going to rain because it, nice, it would be nice to fill up the reservoirs and get some green yeah. in those fields again. So guys, since, you last, uh, since we last left you on the coast, we had another incident involving some really annoying little insects again for like the fourth time this week there's loads of little tiny ants all over this side of the van i think it's from that bush we parked in for the hospital i hope so hopefully they're not going in the van and hopefully there's not an ants nest we've picked up from where we park in our village Yeah, the ants are inside the van. It's got like seven of them from up there. Seven? Seven. Well, there's yeah, more, see. there's more. How do you get rid of ants? Yeah, I don't mind ants. Ants are just getting on with their, their business, aren't they? Just getting on with things, working very hard by the looks of things. But when they're in your van, 
Um, and there's like possibly a colony moving in. You just don't want it, do you? I've vacuumed <laughs> the van from top to bottom, every single little nook and cranny, all in the cupboards and everywhere. And I didn't actually get that many. I didn't see that many when I was moving things around. So I'm hoping that they haven't actually set up home in there properly. I mean, it's okay now. Well, it's never okay, but it's not too bad now because there's mm. no food in the van. But obviously we're going to be moving back into the van permanently and going away for several months. We don't want to have a load of uh, free loaders yeah <laughs> thing is with ants as well they send out scouts don't they so you get a few ants and then the scouts go back to the colony and say come on fellas i don't think there's like a queen in the whole colony in there well i hope no, not anyway no. so i vacuumed everywhere and i've also used one of those plug-in things that we've had in the house for ages i don't know if it like sets a like puts and a really high pitched high pitched pulse or something yeah, what they don't the like and that i mean it's it worked really well in the house in the mm. past so hopefully we won't have any more issues now oh yeah there were ants and then there was a tick as well another oh, insect yes charlie a got a tick on him we didn't film it because we didn't it film it because we were like panicking like we need to get it off but it was a quite a big one it filled it with blood and it was on his ear bless him he's such a good boy and we managed to get it off and you've got to be really careful that you mm. get the whole head out and everything um but when we got it out we kind of put it in the sink and its legs were moving which indicates that you have got the whole tick um and yeah they just put some anti antiseptic cream on the on the bite there and uh, yeah, we should keep an eye on him. But he has his pipettes, his droplets. So yeah, yeah I don't know how, don't know how he I got that. I didn't notice one, it. The odd one gets through. I don't mm. think he had it for long because we were noticing. We're always checking them for ticks. So yeah, the insects have really, really done our heads in this week. Massively. Not gonna lie. Yeah. So folks, what have we got in store for you over the next? you know come in vlogs should i say where are we going where are we taking you well we are as we've mentioned going to the alps one way or another we're going for the hottest time of the year like you know june mid-june onwards we want to kind of be up in the mountains we don't want to be down here in the heat from now until then well today we're hoping to be up on the roof watching the storm for the rest of the day if the storm happens the next couple of weeks we are meeting up with some of our friends around the local area so that'll be little trips away and uh, we really want to like give the van a test before we go to the highest mountains in europe basically we don't want to just rush up there without doing several little trips away to make sure little old vincer is uh, up for the mission just need to build our confidence back up again because you know as you probably know and sick of hearing us talking about it but we've had a few issues with the brakes yeah um and it seemed you know one thing after another so we just need a few little trips away little mini trips away up the coast yeah no problems no issues and then we'll get our confidence back and our yeah because obviously all we've done so far is we've been to the you know a couple of hours drive maximum two hours or something you know like a round trip um and we want to do a few more of those mm. do you know what i mean just in case you know before we leave spain and stuff yeah because we're safe in spain you know we're covered you know we can get a tow our breakdown cover actually tows us to the garage of our choice in yeah. spain oh, not yeah, the nearest garage true. so even if we're like in the north of spain we can get towed yeah, all we'll the way home towed. no problem but i think we, we're kind of covered for europe as well we're covered for europe you get taken to the nearest garage, nearest garage rather than you can't get taken home unless it's a real serious incident or something like that you want to break down in france or switzerland or yeah. austria or i know like we that. shouldn't be thinking about oh breakdowns <laughs> it shouldn't be about that never used it? to never used yeah and to that's be. why we want to do a few little trips away before we head to the big mountains you know just to get our confidence back just so we're not thinking about breakdowns yeah yeah please bear with us guys um it feels like we've just been not doing much for ages you know we haven't gone on any epic adventures since we've been back but don't forget we have been on some epic crazy adventures we've got like over 300 videos on the channel so go and check out the older playlists from scandinavia or maybe not go back as far as 2018 Maybe 2019 onwards, no? 2018? Well, we went to some really cool places. We did, but... but the videos aren't brilliant because so, we were just like newbies. Newbies to YouTube. But so just, yeah, anyway, there's it loads It shows of, progress and progression. Yeah. Yeah. There's loads of videos to, to, to catch up on. 
but we will be going on another adventure just we're going on another adventure right right now not right now but tomorrow or over the weekend we are actually going away in the van you're gonna take me somewhere nice yeah after the storm <laughs> so join us next week to see where we end up keep your fingers crossed that little old vince that behaves himself yes. in our run up to the alps and uh, and that's it so thanks all for so 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 much for watching uh don't forget to follow us on our other socials and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the future adventures and we'll see you all next week take care guys see you next week Look at this actual raid, the first raid we've seen in months. And yes. literally we've had like two cracks of lightning and we've got a blinking power cut. Can you believe it? Side rain about five minutes ago and we've got a power cut. This is why we have our solar panels, you see, because we don't, we still have power, which is good. Rain! It's exciting, rain. isn't it? Woo! Better get in before we get struck by lightning. Wow, look at that.